Okay, good afternoon. We're going to continue our study about Jacob's trouble. And uh, I'm going to read again from Jeremiah chapter 30. And we'll read verse 7 again. For alas, that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. And just for those who didn't see the, the previous video, I mentioned the fact is that uh, Jacob's name, Israel's, Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Um, and so we understand that this is talking about the nation of Israel here. Uh, it is time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Now, if you continue on reading down here, um, it says in verse 8, For it shall come to pass in that day, saith Yahuwah of hosts, that I will break his yoke, talking about Israel's yoke, uh, off from off his neck, and I will burst their bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. He's talking about the nations that have you know, come against Israel down through the centuries. He said that he's going to break off the yoke of, uh, upon the, the neck of, of Israel. And so he, then he says in verse 9, But they shall serve Yahuwah their God, and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith Yahuwah, neither be dismayed, O Israel, or Yasharel, for lo, I will save you from afar, and your seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return, and shall be in rest, and shall be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. For I am with you, saith Yahuwah, to save you. Though I make a full end of all nations where I have scattered you, yet I will not make a full end of you, but I will correct you in a measure, and you will not and, and will not leave you altogether unpunished. So what Yahuwah is saying is he's going to save them, he's going to rescue them, but he's going to punish them, and he's going to save them from this time of trouble. We'll know that at the end of um, the tribulation, or the, uh, at the battle of Armageddon, um, that Yahuwah will rescue the nation of Israel, Two-thirds of the nation of Israel will perish and die during this seven-year time frame. And he'll bring the one-third uh, through the fire, and he will, uh, he will bring them through and save them, and they will, of course, recognize their Messiah. They'll finally come to recognize the Mashiach, Yahushua, as, as Yahuwah. They'll recognize them, him, They'll, they'll recognize him whom they have pierced, according to Jeremiah, that they'll recognize the Messiah, the Mashiach, and uh, they'll believe in him whom the Father had sent. And of course, we know and understand that Yahushua is Yahuwah manifest in the flesh. He said, I am come in my Father's name. And of course, we know through the Tanakh, and I've written, done, done many videos about this, but there's uh, Yahuwah revealed himself to the nation of Israel, or Yasharel. He revealed them at, himself to them as their Savior, as their only Savior. Isaiah chapter 40, uh, 42, verse 8. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 11. Um, he said, I am Yahuwah, your Mashiach, your Savior. And he said, I'm your only Savior. So he's fulfilling his promises to the nation of Yasharel. But of course, we know, according to Isaiah chapter 45, that Yahuwah declared that he was the savior of the whole world. He said, look unto me and be saved, all ye ends of the earth. Yahuwah revealed himself in the Old Testament or the Tanakh as, as savior, as the savior of the whole world, Jew and Gentiles. He is our savior. Now, you may know him as the name Jesus, but uh, his name actually is, in, in Hebrew, his name was is Yahusha, which is translated as Yahuwah, is Savior or Salvation. He is our Savior. And of course, it just fulfills the, the promises that he made in the Tanakh and the Old Testament, revealing himself as that it, through these scriptures. I could give you many, many more scriptures where he said that he was our Savior in the, book, in the Old Testament. And now in the New Testament, you know, Yahusha comes on the scene 
He said in John chapter 5, verse 43, I am come in my Father's name. And of course, you know, he, he, he carried the name Yahusha. His, his, he was Hebrew. He, he had a Hebrew name. Um, I know that, that uh, like I said, that um, many people have been led to believe that the Messiah's name is Jesus. And again, I, that's the name that I only knew many years ago when I got saved. But the, but, but the thing is, Yahuwah knew that, that this would happen in the scriptures, that uh, the, because of the tradition of mankind, tradition of the, of the Yahudim, or the Jews, began to hide the name of the Creator. They began to uh, use substitute words for his name. They began to call him Hashem, which is in Hebrew means the name. They began to call him Adonai, which is our word for Lord. And of course, all this was done, and of course, inspired by the enemy. And uh, but they caused the people of that day to not know the name of the Creator, and also not to know the name of the Mashiach. Proverbs chapter thirty, verse four says, "You know that the, that read that for yourself. It's revealing that this this is a riddle. That that who, who has who has created the heavens?" And, his, of course, what is his name and what is his son's name? And of course, you know, it, it takes, you know, study. I didn't, I didn't realize and understand the things that I'm sharing with you today until about 10 years ago when I began to, to I came across the fact is that, that uh, Yahuwah's name was in the scripture uh, 6,823 times in the Old Testament, and I never even knew that. And then when I began to study that out and seek that out, I began to see that that was accurate and true, and that the word Lord had been used to replace the name of our Creator. So we'll pick this up on our next uh, session of talking about the time of Jacob's trouble, and I uh, hope this is being a blessing to you. Until next time, Shalom.